a series on Apple TV Plus called The Big Door Prize. I talked about it before, so this is season two, which I have previously said that I sometimes have problems with season twos of shows, particularly if I really like season one, but boy, season two is so good. Okay, so here's the setup. We have this small town, love a small town storyline, and they have this mysterious, what? Am I not allowed to? Here's a TV series, love a TV series. It's got characters, love characters. (laughs) It's in a setting. No, it's the in a backdrop setting. makes a difference, John. It has a, it has a backdrop. It's They've not got just cars on a set. Cars. <laughs> I do agree that like the small town aesthetic, that is a, a genre that you can like. Yeah. It I, was more yes. the tone than really the actual you facts. You love commenting on my tone. I don't, it just sends me off. All I don't right, know what well, what? So you love a small town. So I love a small town. Love a small town. Love a small town story. Love a small town series. In this, love a small town gal. Small, love small town Christmas. Guy. Oh my God. Oh, okay. okay. All right. So it's in a small town. Great, we can continue. It's in a small town, and they get this mysterious machine that we don't know how, but it shows up in the general store. And if you put in, I think it's just like a quarter or whatever, you get a little card that gives you your life's purpose, which initially... Only a quarter? I think it's a quarter, yeah. So in the first season... It's really causing all sorts of havoc. People are putting in their, you know, quarter or whatever and getting their little card and it's really changing their lives. They're like, oh, that is what I should be doing or I hadn't thought about that. Maybe I should completely change the direction of my life. Or it's not capable of happening in a small town. Right. So our main character played by Chris O'Dowd gets his and it's kind of wah wah underwhelming. And so there is the flip of that where it's like you could get this life purpose card and be like, oh, that kind of sucks or it doesn't make any sense to me or is not helpful at all. So you have the juxtaposition of people being very excited and changing their whole lives. And then particularly our main character and a couple other characters being like, this is weird and I don't love it and I don't know what to do with this piece of information. So season one was really interesting and I was very into this, what is this magical machine? Like, are we going to figure out what's going on with this magical machine? Is it just a dude in there printing stuff? Yeah, who's very, very insightful for some reason. (laughs) We did not get the answer in season one and I couldn't wait. So this is based on a book. So I went and got the book from the library. You cheated? I listened to the audiobook. And I think we're doing something slightly different in the series than what they did in the audiobook. I'm always fascinated by an adaptation okay. and like what they decide to keep and what they decide to change. And it does feel like they have changed some significant things, but I'm not sure because we're still in progress on this season 2. But it doesn't feel like it's going in the exact same direction. So now season two, the machine is elevating to the next level. So, yeah, you get a little animated thing that tells you a little bit more. So about half the characters have done this next level thing. Is it another quarter? Does it cost two quarters now? Uh, Well, I mean, 50 cents. No, no, no. I mean, I think it's still one quarter. So maybe at this point you're in for 50 cents. So at this point in season two, we're progressing to where people are trying to make these life adjustments and then also getting this new bit of information about where their life purpose is going to go based on this little animated extra bit of information. So, I mean... It's super interesting. I like that it's quirky without being ridiculous. It still feels kind of possible and real. You know how sometimes quirky characters are like, well, none of that's ever real. But okay. Although I will say one of the quirkiest and the most fun is played by one of our favorites, Josh Segura. Oh. He is playing a real ridiculous character. He's really great, and this season, we have him teamed up in a very over-the-top romantic relationship. That character is played by Mary Holland, who we've seen in some other stuff, who is real goofy and very fun. Yeah, so I really like The Big Door Prize, and I would highly recommend it. So season two, Apple TV+, and it's currently in progress. 